Good morning, world. Hey, let's talk about those scary words, electrical system and wiring. Uh, it's really not that bad. I have a riding lawnmower here that I wired recently, I want, and I want to show you how basic uh, it actually is to do that. That's the mower. Let's dig in. So I had, had a craftsman uh, riding lawnmower that had a bad engine and I finally had a good engine come in and I swapped them out here. I wanted to show you how I wired this. This is just a very basic lawnmower, riding lawnmower wiring setup. Um, I had to put this Kohler engine in here sideways, but that's fine. And that is a temporary muffler setup, so don't judge me there. But uh, over here on the ignition switch, um, the back of the ignition switch, it happens to be a five prong, and it looks just like this. And you can see on this ignition switch, there is letters S, M, L, G, and B. And those stand for something very important. Um, the B stands for battery, the G stands for ground, the L stands for lights, S for solenoid, M for magneto. So you'll need a battery, a solenoid, wires, an engine with a starter motor, and an ignition switch and a fuse, 15 amp fuse. And with this, I have by bypassed all of the safety switches to make it um, simple. So you basically just run wires, oops, from the ignition switch to those components. Since I don't have lights, I ran the wire that goes to the lighting system um, over to the fuel solenoid which is this particular engine has a fuel solenoid, which is that little electrical component um, on the bottom of the carburetor there. When you turn on the ignition switch, it provides power to that little fuel, fuel solenoid. Apparently my, my rooster wasn't happy about that. I'd be careful while I'm working here. My chicken sometimes does a sneak attack on me like he's trying to do there, see? Oh well. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's the fuel solenoid. So there, these are the wires that come off of the alternator. Um, they actually go to these white wires here, actually go into the rectifier on this engine, and then out of the rectifier comes the DC power. So these two wires coming out of the rectifier, purple and orange, are the, um, the power out of the alternator basically DC power. So uh, it goes into two connection, two, um, it goes into two wiring ports here, but I'm only gonna use one because I'm not running lights. Uh, I would run one of them to the light circuit at the switch, light switch. But in this case, um, I'm just gonna run one of the wires. It's this white one here, and it actually goes back to the battery positive and then that goes back up to the battery here and that's what charges the battery so that's that circuit and of course your battery needs to have a good ground connection and that's mine and as you saw on that ignition switch it does have a ground connection so you have to that's that black wire there uh, you have to run that to a ground which I have right there kind of rusty but it's working so that ground goes to the ground on the ignition switch and the wire that goes to the solenoid from the ignition switch is the one that goes to that single blade terminal connection right there so that goes to your solenoid connection on the back of the ignition switch. That's that white wire. And of course, you have to have power out of your solenoid, which is that terminal there, and that basically goes to the starter motor. 
and the battery terminal on the back of the ignition switch is that red wire there and that basically goes to the battery uh, I have it going down there to where the battery connects at the solenoid you can run it directly you know, to, to here if you want but I just have it ran down there to clean up the wires up at the battery you do have to run an inline fuse for that one it's it's definitely recommended and I use a 15 amp fuse I'm not an electrical expert but that's what I run a 15 amp fuse so the next wire we have is the magneto wire which is basically uh, when you turn off the ignition switch that wire goes to the magneto and it grounds the magneto so it won't produce spark anymore and that's where it connects there it, and it connects to this white one here which goes directly to the magneto wire is that red wire there that's the lighting circuit so when you turn the ignition switch on that provides electricity to your light switch if you have lights however I mentioned I have a fuel solenoid and I'm not running lights so when you turn the key on that wire goes to that's the red wire there which goes to the red wire there which ends up at the fuel solenoid which I showed you earlier so that turns on the fuel solenoid and I do intend to clean up uh, these wire connections here I at least tape them off so there's no risk of um, short-circuiting. Guess what everyone? You just wired a lawnmower.